Hi everybody, and welcome to this Scalar training. My name is Joel Mora, and I'm a technical account manager here at Scalar, and I'm here to talk to you today about Docker. And what we're gonna be focusing on today is um, the Scalar Docker agent. And from a high level, um, what we're gonna be doing is installing the Scalar Docker agent, configuring it. Uh, I'll show you where the configuration options are as well, so you can um, kind of go through them yourself. Um, and then what we're gonna do is just be ingesting logs um, from various containers. Um, so it's gonna, by the end of this, you should see how easy it is to install the agent and then monitor a production level microservice environment um, with relatively no um, headache. Um, there's such a low latency on the data transmission to Scalar that you can troubleshoot your logs in real time. And um, this tutorial should teach you how to do that. So without further ado, let's get into the training. All right, so let's get into the demo. And with this, um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the Scalar account. So let's uh, move to the Scalar account. And here, um, we're going to uh, just go to the documentation. So just click into docs, uh, the main page here. And then we're gonna go to install agent Docker. And um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna install the Scalar agent container. And um, that is the most important step, actually. And once that's installed, what that does is it just sits as a Docker process, and then it um, listens to uh, standard out and standard error, and um, a Docker transmits its logs um, through that channel and basically picks them up, and then it sorts them and sends them to Scalar. And then you're able to search them easily, and everything kind of um, just aggregates really nicely and makes sense there. So that's uh, essentially what we're gonna be doing is installing the agent and then throwing some containers on there. The containers that we're gonna throw on um, get increasingly more complicated, but the premise is basically the same. So let's take a look here. And the first thing we're gonna do is pull the Scalar Docker image. And there are two images that you can pull. You can pull the Docker JSON image or you can pull the Docker syslog image. So the Docker JSON one is our um, preferred method of doing this and it uses the Docker JSON file um, logging driver. Um, you could read more about that there if you want. And if you need to use the syslog for some reason, um, we support it, but there are a few more um, configuration options that you need to do on um, the container. So it's a little bit more difficult to maintain. Um, so this tutorial is gonna be around the Docker JSON image. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull that image down. All right, um, and then it, takes one parameter, which is the API key. So it needs to know where to send logs to. And there's two ways to do that. You can um, set up an environment variable, or you can you know, use a modular agent D snippet. Um, and what that basically does is it will create a volume mount um, and mount that on the container. So that's my preferred way of doing that. So that's how I'm gonna do this within the um, tutorial. So just gonna create this file. And we can see we have my API key here. Um, and that's what's nice about the modular snippets. You can just add a single value here. Um, and in this case, <clears throat> that's basically all we need. So um, the next thing that we're gonna do is run the container. So we're gonna run it uh, not with the environment variable, but with the volume mount here. So you could literally cut and paste this. And there we go. So we have the Docker agent um, up and running. And a few things to note. Um, first of all, Scalar kind of aggregates the names and the container IDs um, and such, but the container ID is uh, what um, you should note um, because that is the server host name. So that's what we're gonna be searching by. So let's just go to our logs, um, log start page here. And if I search for that container name, we can see we have a new server host here. Um, if you wanted to change that server host name, you can also do that. If you scroll to the bottom here um, and you click into setting a server host name, you can do that. There's also configuring the scalar agent, which we'll get a little bit into, but just know that those are resources um, and then you can kind of expand into that. So um, let's uh, refresh here.
And we can see our server host name here. And then we can see two files by default. We have the agent log, which is going to um, give us diagnostics on the agent. I recommend keeping that. Um, there's really no reason to turn it off. It transmits a small amount of data. Um, and it's going to tell you basically what's going on with the agent. And then there's the uh, Docker monitor. Um, and this one's going to bring CPU uh, metrics and memory metrics and um, like network um, metrics on your container. And then once that's also installed, you're going to have another um, dashboard here with Docker container metrics. There you go. Um, so this can be used um, to correlate um, like memory issues or CPU issues with incidents. Um, so it's really valuable information. I recommend keeping it, but you can also um, turn it off if you wanted to. And the way you would do that is also just to create a, a modular snippet and then mount that as well. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I just created another JSON file, Docker JSON. And then you can mount that as well into that agent D directory. You could turn the container metrics, the process metrics, and if you wanted to, the agent log off. So the next thing um, is to install containers. So that's basically what um, needs to run. And then um, the rest of this is just installing containers and um, viewing how those logs work. So let's install a really basic container now. Um, so the first one is going to be Ubuntu. Um, so I just ran an Ubuntu image here, and we can see that I am in uh, the Ubuntu container. Okay, so now that I'm running just um, some command, um, one thing that I can do now is if I refresh, I should be able to see another log here. Um, thirsty Germain. Um, and then you can also see that here. Um, and what we can see in almost real time is the um, the streaming of these uh, of the terminal. So if I press yes here, and then I start live tailing. We can see the data start streaming in almost in real time, which makes it um, very nice if you're trying to troubleshoot things um, uh, within your application or within your container. Um, so that's a that's, um, really basic example. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some more realistic real world examples, and we're going to troubleshoot a microservice. So check out part two if you want to see more advanced Docker features.